this man is Valfredo Barreto. Ronald, wrong person again. I mean, this is Valfredo Barreto, an Italian economist who observed that 80% of the Italian economy were controlled by 20% of the population. 30 years later, this guy, Joseph Duran, discovered that this 80 to 20% event can be applied to almost all situations in daily life. And he named this technique after its inventor, the Pareto Principle or the 80-20 rule. This technique is used today to manage your time better and more efficiently. In this video, I will take you through the 80-20 rule and I give you tips how to achieve 80% more to focusing on the 20% of your tasks. Let's go to the intro. Welcome to our brand new video. My name is Ronald Fox and I make videos about self-development, a positive mindset and habits and routines. Before we start this video, I first want to say that I'm a little bit sick. So I'm sorry for my voice if it doesn't sound well. Now let's get back to the 80-20 rule. A fun fact about this subject is that Filfredo Pareto never knew that this principle was named after him as he died in 1923. Filfredo, we will never forget you. To give you a better idea about the 80-20 rule, I will now give you examples which can be applied in daily life. Did you know that 80% of your time you wore 20% of your clothes? And 80% of your laziness is coming from 20% of the choices you make. And 80% of the pollution comes from 20% of the world's factories. This 80% input that only gives 20% output is called trivial many or ineffective majority. The tasks you do most often produce the least. And we can also turn the rule around. Like 20% of your activities produce 80% of your result. Or 20% of your ideas ensures 80% of your success. And did you know that 20% of your relationships ensured 80% of your happiness? And also the example that Pareto gave us, like 115 years ago. 20% of the population is responsible for 80% of the wealth. So this 20% input that gives 80% output is called the vital few. These are the few things that gives the most benefits for you as a person. If we look at daily life, we see that most people do as many things that produce the least amount of results. Think about looking at your socials or checking your meals many times a day. So these persons are focusing on 80% of the activities, which gives us 20% of the results. This is usually because these aren't the important tasks and because they are easy to do and don't require some level of effort, they are gladly done. To clarify this trivial many, I have brought in Michael again, who you know from this video. I really need to study for my test tomorrow, but before that, I'm going to check my email. Three hours later. You will probably recognize yourself in this. Your goal was to study for a test, and yet you spent 80% of your time watching cat videos on YouTube. So 80% of your activities producing 20% of your results. And what do you think? Is Michael still going to pass his test? I don't think so. The 80-20 rule can also apply to my own experience. I used to want to be friends with everyone when I was a teenager. I thought it will feel good to have a lot of friends around. And at first, I believed that. Eventually, I found that talking to a lot of people can be fun, but that's all it was. But what I did notice was that it didn't make me happy. So if we apply Pareto's principle in this case, we can say that 80% of my friends that time is responsible for 20% of my happiness. I don't have that many friends. And that's not a bad thing. But the 20% of my best friends that I have left account for 80% of my happiness right now. But first we're going back to time management for a moment. So what exactly do successful people do 
manage their time efficiently. Do they do many things differently than the most of us? No, they don't. Only what successful people do is that they're focusing on the vital few. So think about the 20% friends that gave me 80% of my happiness. So they don't focus on the trivial many. So the 80% of my friends who gave me 20% of my happiness. But how do you do that? Focusing on the 20% activities who bring 80% of the result. So right now I will give you an exercise that you can apply in your own life to become more efficient with your time. This is what we're going to do today. So write down for yourself 10 tasks you want to achieve today. So the 10 things which I will achieve today are checking my email, finish the last chapter of my report because the deadline is in two days, the 800 kilograms bicep curl in the gym, that's true, watching Netflix and chill, listening to a podcast, 10 pages of reading, studying for tomorrow's test, shopping for new clothes, cooking dinner, and finally, party with friends. Because we focus on the 20% which is most important, we can say that two out of 10 tasks must be completed to get 80% of the results. So right now, think with me. So what is the most important task that will give you the greatest positive impact? For me, that's learning for tomorrow's test and underline this task. And which task has the second biggest positive impact on you? Since my deadline is in two days, I will go for the last chapter of my report and underline this one too. So focus on the two activities which gave you the biggest impact. So when you're finishing those two tasks, the remaining time you can choose what you can do. So focus on the 20 who gives you 80. Hi guys, it's the next morning. Um, I was a little bit too sick, so I had to stop this video. Um, that's why I will continue this video right now with a cup of coffee. Tim Ferriss also elaborates uh, about the 80-20 rule in his book, The 4-Hour Workweek, this one. He says for every task, you should ask yourself the following questions. Which task produces the most results or has the biggest impact? So think about that 80% result that I gave you with the exercise. So these were the most important tasks. Two, which task demands a tremendous amount of energy and time, but doesn't really deliver anything? With the last category, you should also consider the following. A, does the performance of this task necessarily have to be done by me? Or can I also outsource this to someone else? B, does this task need to be done at all? Or might as well be scrapped? So finally, I want to give you a disclaimer about the 80-20 rule. So these 80 to 20 figures are not set in stone. It's more like a guideline rather than a hard or fast rule, but it doesn't detract from its effectiveness. So it doesn't have to be always like 80% to 20%. For example, 26% of the people who are watching my video are subscribed comparing to the 74% that is not. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you learned today. This was this week's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.